All right, y'all. So this is going to be a little different. My laptop is um, uploading another video. So I said, why wait? Just get these messages out uh, right now. So um, the first thing I got, I just pulled out just the devil card. That's the only thing I got out my deck. Now, what came out next was um, controlling big bully is what I got. Controlling, greedy, and torture. Hate you. Wants your life. Um, this could be. This is also family. Fake family members. So these people can be very controlling. Big buddy, bullies. Greedy. They may torture you or bully you or mock you or ridicule kill you or talk bad about you or gossip about you. Um, Want your life. I also see secret competition. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. We also have um, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. And we got the ending of a cycle, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces again. We have favoritism. Um, this could be a whole couple or marriage who is envious of you or your partner's relationship or just envious of you in general. They're most definitely stressed the fuck out. Either one or um, all these people have like natural hair is what I'm getting. This could be an auntie, an uncle, a brother, a mother. It's because we have fake family members and false masks. We also have secret competition. These people are in secret competition with you. Why? Because you have a pure soul and a pure heart. Your heart is made of gold. And when people are, their low vibration is low as fuck. Guess what that does to them? They get intimidated intimidated by you. If you ever walk through life and people didn't know how to approach you and say you look evil or I don't know how to come to you, they're most definitely intimidated by you and your energy because you are of light. And that's the reason why this is the energy you get. Devilish energy, toxic energy. They're materialistic, addicted to have a lot of addictions. Uh, you might have a family full of narcs. Everybody might be narcissistic is the energy I'm picking up on. Overindulging. We have an uncle that could possibly, um, you feel what I'm saying? Like dislike you or is evil towards you or envies you or bully you or fuck with you. You feel what I'm saying? Motherfuckers know what's up. They know. If a person is made of dark or, or lightness. And don't forget if you're empathetic. That's another reason for them to fuck with you. So if you've been feeling like people energy has been off. And people have are acting strange. We have relationship in reverse. It This don't even have to be fake family. This can be your spouse. So if your spouse, lover, friends, enemy, enemies, co-workers, foes. Uh, are moving different or acting funny uh, around you. For no reason, you feel what I'm saying? This is because, like I said, their energy is low. They're very low vibrational entities. And there's always competition, secret competition with you. And you you either see it or you don't see it, but you're too busy riding your wave. You feel what I'm saying? Stepping into your call and going on your journey and your path. You're not giving energy to people, places, and things that don't no longer serve you anymore. So you try to block out things that fucks with your energy or that's low vibrational. We have a um, brother-in-law. So your brother-in-law might be trying to, um, it's envious of you or secret competition with you or, you know what I'm saying? Treat you a different way. Want your life. These people can also want your life or your lifestyle or whatever the case may be. These people low-key hate you. They might bully you, talk bad on you, th th throw salt on your name, try to tell you what to do, how to do it, how to control your life, what actions you should take, what you should and shouldn't be doing. Try to force things on you type shit. You feel what I'm saying? Because their life is not going um, the way that they want it. They're miserable in their life. So they want your life to be miserable. They're miserable in... Um, projecting their energy onto you their insecurities onto you because they're insecure as fuck and they feel like you know they were they they not happy with where they want to be in life 
so they have nothing to do but hurt you and bother you. Hurt people, hurt people. Miserable people fuck over um good hearted people, good spirited people. So um, like I said, it could be any of those people that I'm I have named. So I feel like removing these people is the most healthiest thing that you can possibly do or isolate yourself. That's what I'm picking up on. We got shy and doppelganger. So somebody most definitely wants to be you. We have cousin. This can be a cousin. This can be a lover. Sneaky energy. We have, they do this to you because they are dissatisfied in their work life. Dissatisfied because their stability and finances aren't up to standards or up to par. I'm feeling like dissatisfied in their love life, work, health. So, um, and I'm also picking up on older energy. So these people around you is in this energy because they're not happy, but they fail to realize that you have to want change. To want change, you have to take action. If you're doing the same thing you've always got, you're going to get the same thing you've always done. We have father. Your father might low-key hate you. You feel what I'm saying? Or treat you some type of way or if you notice their energy off or they being evil or you feel what I'm saying? Motherfucker acting funny. That's what the fuck this is. So this is the behavior I'm getting picking up on from the ones who are around you, who portray to love you or whatever the case may be. I choose another route and I choose myself. That spirit telling you to move around or that's you knowing that you need to move around. These family members or whoever these people are have a lot of addictions, a lot of uh, smoking going on or whatever the case may be. Um, let's see what else we get when it comes to these uh, family members. Whoever you are watching, you could be um, an Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. Or she may be the black sheep of the family. <laughs> I don't know, but that's what I'm, I'm going with what I feel. Spirit, please give me some more um, energy on these fake false family members. What's the energy of them? These fake, fake false family members. Give me some more. Okay, I'm I'm feeling like okay, so of course lies, sneakiness, deceit, people trying to do shit behind your back. We know that. But I'm feeling like as far as you watching, you was feeling possibly um isolated, you know, detached, guarded, protecting your feelings. You feel what I'm saying? I'm also feeling like, you know, this was your energy at first or whatever the case may be. And I'm also, you know, just want to give you a little guidance, let you know that you most definitely, you know, aren't alone when it comes to these people or situations or whatever the case may be. We have, they're trying to find balance in their life. So they're trying to make your life unbalanced because their shit is all over the place. You feel what I'm saying? We got five of pentacles. So you most definitely uh, need to leave people, places, and things and codependency and attachments behind. You feel me? That's, that's the energy I'm picking up on if you haven't already. That's most definitely what you need to do. Because maybe when you're around certain people that you... The energy be off and you can feel it. You feel what I'm saying? And people think something could possibly be wrong with you, but you're just very intuitive. You you intuitive as fuck. You feel what I'm saying? And you're loving. You give love to people. You pour love into yourself and to, into the universe. You you have a heart made of gold. You're a pure, pure soul. You're an earth angel. So this is the shit that you got to go through. What did I say? Very intuitive. What did I say? High priestess energy. So when you are vibrating high, those people you must leave behind who's vibrating low as fuck, you must leave it behind. Real talk. You don't get to move up. You feel what I'm saying? 
on your journey and try to stay and do the things that you did before that's low vibration. It's time to do something else. You feel what I'm saying? Your vibration is raised. You can't go hang and do hang with certain people and do certain things once you have a spiritual awakening awakening or a calling over your life is what I'm picking up on. So like um I'm also feel like feeling like you was facing some challenges. You feel what I'm saying? On whether you should, you know, continue to be around these people or not. We have the Empress. So we got the Empress. So you're very intuitive, mothering, loving, nurturing, caring. You feel what I'm saying? We have the will of fortune. And right now, you're not even worried about certain shit. You feel what I'm saying? You're trying to manifest the life that you want. You're not entertaining these people. You're focused on yourself and your stability. You're working hard, whether that's outside or inside. You feel what I'm saying? Three of Cups. So you working hard. You feel what I'm saying? You trying to get your coins and your ducks in a row. You trying to work with different people. You feel what I'm saying? You focus on your life and what you have going on in your present uh, life. You was, you have been backstabbed by these people, dogged you, all types of shit, put you through hell, everything. You feel me? And you was feeling trapped, but you shouldn't. You feel me? It's time to move around and manifest the life that you want. Like, don't sit here trapped with people, places, and things. And it's like I said, it could be a lover that is trying to keep you trapped. You feel me? So, you just fucking never know. Anybody could be trying to keep you trapped. Having anxiety, fear, and sleepless nights want you to feel the energy that they're in because they're projecting their energy onto you. And then people might like you to come around so they can feed off of your energy as well. We got tarot moment. You feel me? So, yeah. Could have been a family full of karmics. We got the world, so ain't no telling. But um, you're very intuitive. You feel me? Very much mothering. You'll give the shirt off your fucking back if a person didn't have a fucking shirt to put on. <laughs> you know, like you're intuitive as fuck. 1222. 2022. So you're trying to find balance, love, stability, and happiness elsewhere. And Spirit is urging you to, you know what I'm saying, move around. These relationships are unbalanced. They're causing chaos and conflict and confusion in your life. What did I say? The uh, most high is not the author of confusion. The devil is not the most high. The devil is the author of confusion. You feel me? So when things don't sit right, it's not right. You know why? Because motherfuckers is made of darkness. <laughs> That's why. Anytime you sit around people and you get an uneasy feeling or your spirit is just not right or you're just ready to go type shit or you just you there but you're not there and you feeling detached. You feel what I'm saying? Ain't showing no emotion, no facial expressions. You just there. That should tell you something. Your energy shifted. You're in, pay attention to your energy and listen to your spirit and your intuition. That tells you and shows you a lot. So you must pay attention to things of that nature. You feel me? Like you on some other shit. You're trying to uh, build um, the life that you that you want. You trying to make sure you got money in, in your accounts. You trying to, you know what I'm saying? Work with different people or not just get yourself out there in the world. You're trying to explore the world, get your name out there, start your own business, your career, you know, build generational wealth. And not everybody is on the same page as you. Not everybody wants what you want. You feel what I'm saying? And some people feel like it's too late for them. So they pick and fuck with you. You feel what I'm saying? They don't have nothing else to do. Misery loves company, like I just said. Misery loves company. So there will be some changes, some good luck, some good opportunities, and nothing but winning for you. While everybody else still running the race. Meanwhile, back at the ranch. You successful, you're achieving everything that you want, a success, you're uh, finding love, stability. You might even relocate and move away from certain people, places and things, um, start a new family or take your family with you or a new business opportunity. You know, um, you're going to have stability. And everything that you need, regardless of what people think they trying to stop, they not stopping nothing. They have no control over uh, 
the things that you do. Only the most high got control over uh, what happens in your life, who goes and who stays. You know what I'm saying? So that's the end. And since people don't have, I've noticed since when people don't have control in their life over their life and circumstances, they try to have control over somebody else's life and circumstances because they're viewing your life like, damn, this is what I want. You know what I'm saying? So they critique you, mock you, mock you bully you. And things of that nature. So new beginnings and new opportunities is coming in. New financial opportunity. What I just said. New job. New business. Investments. What did I say? Abundance. Manifestation. Big money. You feel me? The sun. Joy. And happiness. You feel me? Come on now. And they still in this same energy thinking that they finna do shit. Meanwhile, when you do all that energy, it takes a lot to be evil. But it only takes a little bit of energy to spread love. You, even though people dog you, you continue to spread that love. You don't care what nobody say or do to you. You still spread love. You don't fight fire with fire. But since they're doing things of that nature and fucking with someone who's made up light and being evil, guess what this going to cause them? Sickness, health issues. You feel what I'm saying? Even it could be a, a, a physical death. Might be in the cold. Finances wise, health wise, job wise, no job. So let people continue to be evil to you because nothing but good is going to continue to come in for you. Real talk. Real talk. While things keep ascending for you, things are descending. Nothing is happening in their lives. This is the energy they caused you. When people show you who they are, believe them and let go. Move around. Protect your energy. Get your crystals. Meditate. Do whatever it is that you need to do to protect your energy. What did I say? You're going to be leaving away. If you have a family, you and your family will be relocating. I don't know when. I don't know the time. But you will be moving away. And once you move away, you will, be, you will find yourself more happy. More at peace. At one with self and your decisions that you made around you. Y'all have a blessed day.